Western Mass News is your vaccine authority. The Johnson and Johnson vaccine has been given the green light from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Committee. Now this shot could be given to people in just a few days. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live in Springfield with the very latest. Lindsay, what have you learned? Sarah, the vaccine advisors voted unanimously to approve the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for the U.S., making it the first single-dose shot. The chief medical officer of Cooley Dickinson Healthcare tells Western Mass News this is another step in the right direction. Johnson & Johnson is the third vaccine to get approved um, uh, for um, you know, to immunize against COVID-19. Uh, the vaccine has gone through the same kind of uh, rigorous um, testing uh, that the previous two vaccines, uh, Pfizer and Moderna, have gone through. Um, and so this adds to our three very effective vaccines that are, um, uh, I think, by tomorrow or Tuesday um, should be able to be in arms. Um, so that's really exciting. He says the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is highly effective and has been found to have a 100% chance of preventing hospitalizations and death from COVID-19. However, he does say this vaccine has shown some users to still show mild symptoms from the virus. Dr. Garcia says Governor Baker will have to decide how he wants to distribute the vaccine across the state. Coming up later on Western Mass News 11 at 11, we hear more on the vaccine from local experts and look into which one may be best for you. Live in Springfield, Lindsay Kane, West Western Mass News.